Hello friends, welcome to C Shop Intermediate to Advanced Tutorial. Now you are watching part 4 of the video creating the shortcut keys for the menu command. Here, if you see for the second menu item, something called Control plus H is displayed here and here F8 is displayed. So this means the menu item say hello and exit will have its own shortcut. So once the form is displayed without opening this menu, user can access the menu command say hello or they can access the menu command exit just by typing the uh, some letters in the keyboard. Say for example here the shortcut key for say hello is control plus h. So once a user presses control plus h they are directly invoking the command for say hello. Similarly once they press f8 the application will exit. So we already know about the alt key combination alt plus f why because when we added the menu item we added it like this file and exit we added it like this e ampersand x i t like this so user can actually quit the application in two way at this moment say for example one through the alt key combination alt plus f plus x so once they press the alt key so the underlying letter i mean the letter f will have an underline x will have an underline this means after pressing alt user can know that if they press fx the application will exit also with the alt key combination visual studio i mean the c shop application will animate the menu so once the user presses the alt key the animation will take place that means once they press alt f the menu will be shown and if they click x it will invoke the exit command so if they are accessing some sub menu here using the same combination alt f let's say here n is specified with the uh, alt key combination that means do nothing when we are typing before n let's assume we placed the ampersand so that means alt f will open this menu n will open the sub menu so this kind of animation will uh, take place when we use the alt combination but if we use the shortcut key, so here it is the shortcut key, right? Control plus H. When user presses Control plus H, no such animation takes place. It will directly invoke the command and executes it. So it's almost equivalent to clicking this menu item using this Control H. Or if they press F8, it is equivalent to user clicking the file, then clicking the exit. Now let's go to the demo and we will set the shortcut key for uh, say hello as well as exit. So here is our uh, example. Now I am clicking file menu. We want to add a shortcut key for say hello and you can see there is no shortcut key specified at this moment. I am clicking this menu item then going for the property shortcut keys. So once you click the down arrow, you will see the modifier for the shortcut key. Here, we want to add a shortcut key, Control H. So, I placed a tick mark on the control. Now, I am scrolling and choosing H. That's all. Now, we can hit enter. And you can see Control H is the shortcut key for the menu item, say hello. And you are seeing it here, Control H. Similarly, for exit, we want the control key 
here we don't want any modifier we want to set f8 f8 is the shortcut key for exit all right now if i run the application when user is opening this menu for the first time they will understand that uh, okay say hello is having a shortcut key control h and f8 is the shortcut key for this exit so now if i hit the f8 it will directly invoke the command but we don't have any handler for now uh, so that's why you are not seeing the application is quitting but that's the usage of a shortcut key that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye